Okay, so I told Cindy I needed seven minutes for this. So I think the timer has started, okay? Uh -huh. And I promise I'm not going to bore you all with a bunch of numbers, but um, we, I do and we do collectively think that um, we have a responsibility to let you all know um, where the money goes, because we do ask you for money, and um, it's important for you to kind of understand what happens to it. Okay, so um, here's a little history. In um, 2012, we raised a whole $54,000, $54,500 to be exact. Um, in 2017, which is the last year we have audit, you know, full numbers for, we raised $939,000. So we are growing. It is, um, you know, I, I know a lot of you, um, particularly at your end, you're like, these people are asking for money again. They're going to drive me crazy. Um, it's painful. It's difficult. It's the only, we don't sell anything, you know. We, th this is the only way we get money, we, ha we ask. And so we, we do take the use of that money really seriously, and we try to spend it wisely. Um, at the moment, we have no paid employees. We're kind of hoping that's going to change because this is sort of a bigger and bigger job, you know. But um, we spend very little money on fundraising. Uh, it's mostly credit card fees. Um, we spend very little money on management and, and general, and we spend the lion's share of our money on program expenses. And what, you might ask, are program expenses? Um, here's a detail of program expenses. Um, we promote awareness of multiple system atrophy. Um, we educate medical professionals. Now that sounds like it ought to be the job of somebody else, but indeed um, we, we help to educate People, uh, we sponsor specific seminars at the um, American Autonomic Society meeting. We um, promote different conferences to doctors to educate, help to educate them to diagnose and treat all of our patients more effectively. Um, we spend some money on patient support and education, including putting on these conferences. And um, we spend money on research. And we, at the moment, are the largest um, not-for-profit funder of research into MSA. And you look at this and you think, that's not that much money. Well, it's not, but it's better than nothing. And that's what there was before. Um, and this is not supposed to be an eye chart. You're not supposed to try to figure out all these things. Um, but between 2013 and 2017, we have funded almost $1.7 million of research at 25 respected institutions around the world. We are privileged to have an amazing, completely volunteer scientific advisory board that um, helps to decide where our research money goes. And those 25 institutions are where it's gone. And um, last but not least, we um, ended 2017 with a very healthy balance sheet. And this is a bunch of numbers, so I apologize for that. But I have, um, I've highlighted here the one that I want you to kind of focus on, which is um, the money that we have specifically earmarked for research. Um, some of it is restricted. And if you give a gift to the MSA Coalition, particularly if you do it online, you will see that you have the ability to say, I want this to go to the research fund. And um, when you say that, we are legally obligated, and we take this very seriously, um, to keep it separate in a research fund. And it can be only spent for research. Um, we also designate some that we, we get in different ways. But um, that th there was $1.1 million in our research fund at the end of 2017, of which um, 263000 was spoken for already. It had been, had been granted, but not yet. The grants hadn't been paid out yet. Um, and last but not least, um, we've been recognized, and um, you know we're we're one of we're, we're listed in great nonprofits, and that is largely a consequence of people like you writing into great nonprofits and giving little testimonials because um, th that's where they figure this out. So um, if you feel like going on to greatnonprofits.org and writing a little thing about how much you enjoyed the conference and how much you enjoyed the MSA Coalition, we would appreciate that because it keeps us listed there. 
And um, we also have the GuideStar seal of transparency uh, for our for our transparency because we talk about our numbers and where the money comes from and where the money goes to. Um, we are extremely grateful for all the financial support that we receive. We also are extremely aware that this is a very costly illness and we don't uh, want to put undue pressure on people, but those of you who can contribute to us, we are very grateful and we, we pledge to spend this money wisely always. And I think I did it, I think I did it within seven minutes, so there you go, I am done. <laughs>